thank you for listening to the Someone New Theatre Company podcast production of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Our actors and production team have worked tirelessly to bring these stories to you, and we hope that you have enjoyed listening to them as much as we have enjoyed making them. This production was directed by Gracie Rogers with Joanna Lusty, adapted for audio by Elizabeth Bradford and Marley Vanderbale, and produced by Ryan O'Connor. Sound design for this production was provided by Callum Blair, Elizabeth Bradford, Tanisha Plummer, Josh Andrews O'Neill, Jacob Thompson, Ryan O'Connor, and Marley Vanderbale. Our cast for this production was Lauren Atkin as Alice Turner, Nick Barker Pendry as Colonel Lysander Stark and the Mysterious Gentleman, James Bowman as Inspector Bradstreet, Matthew Bradford as James Windybank and Isa Whitney, Mandy Calderwood as Miss Stoper, Paul Candlin as Jabez Wilson, Alexander Holder and Mr. Windygate, Thomas Dimmick as Mr. Breckenridge and the Driver, Danny Donaldson as James McCarthy and Mr. Toller, Jack Emond as John Clay, Amy Fortnum as Woman Street Actor, Olivia French as Violet Hunter and Julia Stoner, Nigel Goodwin as Station Master and Man Street Actor, Louise Gracie as Mary Sutherland and Elise, Liz Hardiman as Hattie Duran, Chris Hiscock as Arthur Holder and Victor Hatherley, Jessica Hutchinson as Irene Adler, Daniela Ifandudis as The Lady's Maid, Barry Kay as Jeffra Rucastle and Joseph Openshaw, Lucia Kelly as Mrs. Rucastle, Jazz Laker as Mrs. Toller, Benji Leakes as John Openshaw, Stephanie Lekas as Maggie Ryder, John O'Lukens as James Ryder and Detective Peter Jones, John O'Makatea as Wilhelm, the King of Bohemia, Katie Nethercote as Helen Stoner, Georgia Perkins as Mary Watson, Fred Preston as Neville St. Clair and Mr. Merriweather, Connor Punch as The Guard, Hotel Waiter and Page Boy, Connor Rawson as Lord Robertson Simon, Miaka Rogers as Mary Holder, Ursula Searle as Kate Whitney, Greg Shawcross as John Turner and Commissioner Peterson, Sean Sully as Dr. Grimsby Roylott and Francis Moulton, Matthew Whittingham as Henry Baker, Coroner and the Plain Clothes Man, Emma Wood as Mrs. St. Clair, Matt Young as Inspector Lestrade and Duncan Ross, and finally, with Stephen Georgiadis and Shannon Nichols as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John H. Watson. This podcast was produced on the lands of our traditional custodians, the Wadarong people. Cast recordings were made on the lands of the Anewan, Awabakal, Bunarung, Gadigal, Jajawarung, Eora, Gamegal, Wadarong, Wongal, Wajuk, Waramai, Wurundjeri, Yoda Yoda, and Yagara peoples. Someone New Theatre Company acknowledges and pays respect to our traditional custodians and to their past, present, and emerging leaders. And with our stories now come to a close, please enjoy this selection of outtakes and mistakes, courtesy of our wonderful actors. Enjoy. This one's the right one. It was a pokey little shabbled... I have seen too much not to know that the impression of a woman may be of more valuable than the conclusion of an alapapaya. They are a most unpleasant cussle, uh, couple. Blah, blah, blah. Lestrade shrugged his shoulders. Shoulders is a weird word to say. Now, it is a fact, gentlemen, as you may see for yourselves, that my hair is of a very full and rich tint. So, it seemed to me that if there were to be blah, 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 blah. Lestrade shrugged his shoulders. I feel like it should be shoulders. I understand that the cry of Jeffrey, there is an impertinent fellow upon the road there. Blah 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 Sorry. <clears throat> Why are you even named Jeffrey? It's the eighteenth century. Get with the times. Name your son something normal like Thomas. <laughs> Jeffra. Who names their son Jeffra? Hereditary kings of ba 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 ba. Bobby and let the summer sailor for a. I'm going to restart that. Ooh. Unprofessional working conditions. 
pretty sure this cupboard has asbestos. Now you'd better not use a cut of me saying I have no doubt that I am very stupid in the blooper reel or I'll be very, very disappointed. I have no doubt that I am very stupid. And again. Dig it from the top now. E e was a common signal between you and your father. Well done, Holmes. Yes, very good. We're all correct, and I'm very British. Mr. John Turner? <laughs> That's my cat. Hi, Queenie. Well, I hope to... <sighs> Holmes turned over the leaves of the book upon his knee. Probably won't use that one, but that's okay. Holmes turned over the leaves of the book upon his knee. Do you think maybe we should do an ASMR version of the adventures of Sherlock Holmes? It could be really fun. The prop's not good. Uh, poo! 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 And a star or two twinkled dimly here and there through, 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 Jesus Christ. I'm not going to delete any of these takes. You're going to have to listen to all of these because I had to get through them. And oh my goodness, this sentence. I understand that the cry of <laughs> was a common signal between you and your father. She was rather above the middle height, slim, with dark hair and eyes. And eyes. <laughs> oh, she had eyes. Well, I'm going to leave that in because that's too funny. I'm going to start the whole line again. <laughs> but pray tell me, before we go farther, who is it? Fuck. <sighs> Holmes. You bastard. Oh my god, last Watson line in like the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Still got narrator. Uh, I'll do tomorrow or soon-ish. I know there's no huge rush, so... But anyways. Last what's in line. Alright. What on earth does that ha- And I stuffed it up first off the bat. Alright.